We couldn't visit Beijing and miss a chance to go out for an authentic Chinese meal. Famous for its Peking duck, Beijing should be known for its warm hospitality first and foremost. Tonight, our gracious hosts are Cynthia, a student from Toronto volunteering at the games. Her father, Mr. Hang, a Beijing city planner. Her mother, Dr. Zhenmei Hang. And of course, jellyfish. It only took a few drinks and some amazing food to start really getting to know each other. Mrs. Hang, a traditional Chinese doctor, couldn't resist checking out my health. First, she took my pulse. And how, what do you feel? I'm so excited. Then she looked at my tongue. She's laughing at me. She's laughing at me. My tongue is, I'm going to die next week or something awful. And the swallow? Swallow? Once my physical was over, I wanted to get a sense for what the Olympics meant to the Hang family. Cynthia acted as translator as I asked her and her family about the games in China. That we all feel really happy and really proud that China has come so far since its development and that they're happy that so many friends from all over the world are coming to visit China. She said that the Olympic is a really important learning opportunity for us not only for people to come here, but in preparation for the people all over the world to come. That they have to prepare in terms of language, in terms of culture, to learn about other cultures in order to accommodate them well. So it's a really great opportunity for our country to develop and advance. It was finally time for the main course. Peking duck is carved carefully at the table for us to see, and trust me when I say nothing is wasted. This traditional meal dates back to the 1300s when it was first prepared for the emperor. Oh. And you kiss. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> this truly was the best meal I've ever had in China. To our hosts, thank you very much for having us. Shei Shei. Shei Shei.